Here's the final mechanical installation of the range hood. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, I ended up with a really good fit along the top and along the side edges. It was just snug, uh, just slid in there. And then along the back, we already had the backsplash done and it just fit in there perfectly. Um, okay, here's the stock control panel. And as I mentioned in the blog post, the buttons ended up a little bit to the top. So I'm gonna have to open up the holes for these bolts to let that come down a little bit. And of course, this will get swapped out. I'll have the touch screen here. And when I move, this will go back in. And here's the lettering, which uh, as EMP suggested, I did have the lettering closer to the seam here. And they said to move it a little bit further away so they could clean up this weld, which they did a spectacular job on. Um, and I might have moved it a little bit farther than I needed to, but I just wanted to be safe, make sure that I only wanted to make one so I didn't want to have any mistakes. Okay, underneath, um, I've got the lights right here and I've got the vent uh, where the camera and the air sensors will be behind. I've got the retainer clip right here. And of course the mesh screen right here, which this is the original one. Um, and it's actually the most sad looking part of the whole bunch because it's been in and out so many times. So I'll show you how this opens up now, okay? So you just pull back this retainer clip and then the screen can drop down. And I've got spring clips in the back here, which I'll show you some detail on. Um, these were the original ones and they were just riveted. They were moved over from uh, the original hood to here. And they also partially hold the insert. Okay, so take the insert out. I just push it back and then the front edge will drop down like that. So here's what it looks like inside. Um, you can see the support rails that were added to give it some strength. Here's the back of the retainer clip, which ended up being a little tricky and a little bit flimsy, is my mistake. Um, of course, there's the box that was swapped over and riveted in, and the stock electronics, which will be swapped out shortly for the all the smarts. And that'll be in the upcoming blog post. We'll talk about that. All right, so yeah, I think the Raspberry Pi is just gonna mount on the front edge of that box and the screen will come through the slot. And that's how that's gonna be set up and I'll probably put the relays over here on the side. Okay, so to put this back in, we just raise it up. It slips in like that and then it slides forward. Okay, so that's in now. And then the screen, you just push it against the springs and it comes Press it forward. Oops, there we go. And it's held in. So that's how it looks.